Right. So, here we are for the final round of the knockout competition. Also, by the way, I should probably mention this is now episode 12, as far as I know. And so, it all comes down to this. A head-to-head -head with ice once again. Congratulations! You've qualified for the final round of knockout competition! So here it is. It all comes down to the final round. And very much like the NASCAR playoffs, it's pretty much winner takes all. So whoever wins this race wins the competition overall. And it's probably going to be Ice, because he's been on an absolute tear compared to the rest of us. Although, we'll just have to wait and see. I don't anticipate I'll win, but I don't anticipate I'll lose either. As we are going to Empire City for the final round of the knockout competition. And oddly enough, we are starting side by side Three, two, for this one, race. Go. Which makes a difference. Two purple Jag XJR-15s battling for top honors. And immediately through the first hairpin, I already take the lead. Well, I guess the AI aren't as strong as I progress my way through the knockout competition. And it will surprise me greatly if I end up winning this race. But again, I am confident enough to say that I can avoid finishing last. But dependent on knowing if I'll be able to win the race as well as the damn war, that, I would personally think, will remain to be seen. As of which I am trying to avoid the barricades on that railroad bridge. Which of course, in some cases, were just a little bit off-putting, but... Again, I noticed they were a potential hazard, so... I swerved my way through to avoid them. We are now into the second part of the map. Only thing I'm really hoping for is I do not flinch first. Because pretty much anything can happen in a video game. And as Murray Walker always says, it usually does. And furthermore, no, I'm not just talking about Brazil 03 or Germany 2019. On the Formula 1 schedule where pretty much where it was pretty much anyone who could win that race. Or even then, this year, in 2021. Or even then, of course, this year in 2021, the Hungarian Grand Prix were pretty much... anyone could have won that race. You know, examples such as that. Or possibly even Azerbaijan 18. Also Azerbaijan 17, which personally overall I think was better. Because even though both of those races were shit shows, Azerbaijan was actually a good race because there was less carnage involved. Because there was less carnage involved and it was mainly a race decided on mechan decided on mechanical troubles and breakdowns. I'll certainly say that was a good race, because it was basically just the sort of race I was looking for. A race where pretty much anyone could have won and also and also very much a race that was mainly decided on mechanical issues. Also by the fact I'm saying that obviously the title contenders at the time, Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel basically clashed under the safety car. Vettel was given a stop-go penalty whilst Hamilton basically basically had to pit for losing his head rest. 
And yes, I do remember that race very well. Certainly one, certainly one of the most exciting races I've ever watched that's not decided on pure calamity. Fuck. I think I just fucked myself. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Well, at least I can see Ice has not been dominating this race as much as I thought he was going to be doing. Wait, is that You've it? Won the race. Oh, thank God for that. I literally crashed right in the dying moments and then suddenly I somehow managed to win. Congratulations! You've got a top ten time for this track. I basically won that race by the very skin of my teeth. Have no idea how I did that. But there we go. As a result of me winning the race, I have effectively won the championship overall. And third best overall lap time in the Jag. And ultimately, overall, those are the stats. And so, let's now move on. But there we go. I won the race by less than two seconds over ice. And now it's time for me to record a replay because this will be important. And oddly enough, I think this has taken me like probably over half an hour to get through this championship in its entirety or somewhere over that time length more or less. Three, two, one, go! But yeah, basically two, pur two purple jags basically going head to head here at Empire City. You know, I actually could use this shot if I really wanted to, considering I've not used this camera angle yet. I think I might actually use this one. Still, I have got to admit, I really did not think I was going to win that race in the dying moments. I mean, Ice clearly dominated that championship from start to finish. But yet, I managed to win the final race simply because it was easier for me to overtake the leader compared to what has basically been happening throughout this championship. Just basically all about not finishing last is what I would say it's been all about. But yeah, I think I managed to get something reasonable there of the Jag. So let's move on and see what we get. So there we go. I win the knockout competition by the skin of my teeth over ice. I effectively defeated my doppelganger. I am the superior Purple Jag XJR15. I've won in the Jag. Congratulations! You've won the knockout competition! Alright, and also furthermore, I have unlocked a new circuit, Empire City. Which, oddly enough, I won from winning the beginner knockout competition. And I think that's meant to be a gold medal as well. Which makes sense, more or less. So, do I get anything else? from this. Save settings to memory cards to retain unlocked tracks or cars. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, um, anyways, that was the knockout competition on the beginner difficulty, and uh, 
next time we shall be getting on with the Expert Tournament. And of course, I am going to save my records because I figured that would be necessary. And yes, I will overwrite my previous saved records. And I'm also going to save the settings. So, that was Knockout Competition in the Beginner League. Next time we shall be doing the Expert Tournament. Stay tuned.